Got me sparking and rushing mad like inside the dark. Call me no snatcher. Just a brother for the rapture. I hang live, hold it on strong, hard to capture. Extravagant, resurrect the track and it's militant. And I react like a con and start killing. It's manifesting. The guards work like appliances. Dealing in my sight like a lot. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Naruto Explain here, bringing you guys another discussion for Boruto Naruto Next Generations, the manga, and for anime only fans, this is the time of the month where a lot of the content that we talk about here on the channel is me spoiler heavy. So I thank you for your support. However, if you're still here, I'm assuming you guys are all caught up with the Boruto manga and you do not care about spoilers. And most importantly, I'm gonna assume that you hit the like button because Hitting the like button is an easy way to make Hinata smile. And after the last Boruto manga chapter, we all know that Hinata needs a reason to smile because she's watched as Naruto's gone out and is potentially getting ready to fight into a death battle against Ko and Boruto's in a situation where Boruto's having a heart attack. So Hinata needs all the reasons in the world to smile. So hit the like button for Hinata. Now, in today's discussion, we're going to have a bit of a follow up to Boruto chapter 64 and I want to talk to you guys about Sasuke Uchiha and why it really looks like we're going to have Sasuke Uchiha versus Code. I know a lot of people are very excited over Naruto and Sage Mode rushing out there. And I do believe that Naruto is going to confront Code in the next chapter. However, I think we need to discuss the possibility that Sasuke Uchiha gets there first. I don't think that's crazy. I think that we're in a situation where there's going to be one or two things that take place. Either naruto is just moving extremely fast which isn't crazy but naruto's moving extremely fast he's able to run the 40 kilometers which is just over 25 miles in only the span of a few seconds especially if code is just playing around and talking all this trash which it seems like that's very in character for him then i could see those extra seconds being enough for naruto to get there however i think that the more likely thing is that sasuke uchiha shows up and I want to talk to you guys about the narrative intent behind this. So this is not a Patreon discussion. This is me more so following up what happened in the last chapter and why I think that Sasuke popping up is more likely than Naruto. So as previously stated, it's going to take a while for Naruto to get there. However, we know that Sasuke is at least in the general vicinity because Sasuke in Boruto chapter 61 takes a look at the straps that are out there in front of Konoha and he's like man this is such a diversion I can't believe you guys are falling for this code straps if I had them I would have them placed elsewhere around the lane of fire and outside of Konoha I'll go looking for the straps and I think that once again the fact that they dropped the line that Sasuke has his own personal manhunt for code I do believe that we are going to see Sasuke show up and possibly save Boruto at the last second now Boruto is having heart attack slash stroke type symptoms and there's nobody who can really prevent code from taking Kawaki I think that as code starts approaching Kawaki you're probably gonna have Sasuke just pop up out of nowhere with the boot to the side of code's face and I think this sets up a very interesting scenario this would mean that Sasuke was using his Sharingan and looking at those claw marks even though they are made from code's blood they still have chakra on them which means that sasuke sharingan should be able to see chakra as a color and if this is the case if sasuke sharingan is able to see those straps i think that we could see a potential weakness with those claw marks and this could be something that works in sasuke's favor so keeping in mind that detail about the sharingan i do believe that where sasuke has an advantage to fight against code is even though Code has said that he believes that if he fights Naruto or Sasuke 1v1, he feels confident that he should be able to beat them, Sasuke Sharingan is a bit of a game changer. Sometimes I think that we as a fandom, a lot of times we just focus on the Rinnegan because it's like, oh, the Rinnegan is just so cool that we tend to downplay Sasuke Sharingan and really downplay his eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. And here's why. Because every time Code goes through those claw marks, it stands to reason that the claw mark that he's going to emerge from is going to have more chakra surrounding around it because you're having code either a body part or code himself coming through that and i think that that's going to be how sasuke's going to be able to counter code because i think that 
after Sasuke sees code in battle a few times when he's using those claw marks, Sasuke's gonna be able to find the weakness of it. And I don't think that it's crazy. Think about the fact that when Naruto and Sasuke are fighting against Jigen, Naruto was having all those shadow clones go out there and giving Sasuke the opportunity to see what it was that Jigen was doing. And that's when Sasuke realized, okay, so he just has these chakra rod strength and he's just enlarging them in size. I think that just as Sasuke was able to find a weakness with somebody like Jigen, I think that this is going to be the weakness of Code's claw marks. And I think that this is how Sasuke is going to be able to hold off Code and I'll go a step further. I think that even though Sasuke with that Sharingan is going to be able to do relatively well against Code, I do believe that in an effort to really get Code over, they're going to have Sasuke struggle a bit. I think that Code's going to land some pretty nasty blows on the character of Sasuke. And I think that you have a more likely scenario that Naruto ends up showing up at the last second. And it's Naruto who joins Sasuke and the two of them start off the next chapter in a two versus one battle against Code. I think that that's your more likely scenario. I think that what we're getting right now is we're getting an opportunity where we're able to see what Naruto and Sasuke can do individually against a character like Code and see where the true limits of the powers are. That's something very important as we head into a time skip. As Ikimoto said, that time is coming soon. Soon wasn't necessarily in the number of chapters, but more so after a certain number of story events, just based on how long it's taken us to actually get to the time skip. So I think that the most important thing that we could have going forward is use this as an opportunity to see how powerful Sasuke is, what the full extent of his powers are, have him drop the line in there that he's fighting at full capacity, and use that as a benchmark. That way, when you come out of the time skip, you're able to do what I've said I believe they're gonna do with Naruto and Sasuke, which is have them on the Kakashi track where they refine their skills and maybe learn one or two new jutsu. However, they're never gonna gain power that puts them on the same level where they were when they fought against Ishiki, but having them go through a constant refining and having them add one or two jutsu to their arsenal allows boards on team seven to develop much in the same way that naruto and team seven developed while people like kakashi and mike guy were getting gradual creeps off screen in the naruto manga i think that you're going to see a similar thing here however in order for that to work you have to have sasuke enter into a battle you have to have naruto enter into a battle and right now code is the only person that they can realistically fight that gives the opportunity to see that because if they fought against somebody like ada or even damon especially damon those are characters who go beyond jigen so that's a situation where they'll get curb stomp right now code is in a situation where he still has limiters so he hasn't gone beyond Jigen in terms of power. He's still somebody below Jigen in terms of power. So that is an opportunity to see where exactly they match up. And also from a narrative perspective, again, this is just giving more fuel and more reason for Code to get his limiters taken off. I'm gonna be very curious to see how Code would react to somebody like Sasuke who has a brilliant mind in battle. However, I want to know from you guys, do you guys agree that this is a potential weakness of Code's claw marks now that we have that revelation from Kawaki that those claw marks, while they do have chakra, they're also infused with Code's blood. Do you agree that Sasuke Sharingan should be able to see where Code is coming out of those strap set? Let me know down in the comment section below. But as always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching to end. Have an awesome day, guys.